something really cool about ASCII doctor. I don't want to share it. Um, and this is yet another reason to use ASCII doc, but more importantly, um, it's, it's talking about the importance of something called doc book. So to, to talk about why this is important, I want to use a very specific example here. So I was here looking at the, um, this is the container that's used, uh, to build ASCII that ASCII doctor uses to build. And I came across this line right here that converts, um, it uses ASCII doctor to build and it runs through Docker and it contains all this thing and it says run bash and run ASCII doctor and then it convert it into, it convert this readme.ascii doc file and it converts it into this right here, a doc book. So what is doc book? Doc book, and you can do the Google search, but doc book is a universal standard for creating publishable documents. I mean, this is literally the industry standard for publishing books. Um, and it is an XML-y kind of ugly piece of crap and, and, but whether it be Microsoft Word or Pandoc or, or any of these things, it goes directly. And that one of the reasons that I keep coming back to ASCII doc is because ASCII doc is by definition one for one compatible with doc book. And that makes it exceptionally, uh, complicated and verbose, much more so than Markdown, but it also makes it able to do literally anything that can be done in DocBook. So, but one of the coolest things about this, and this is going to be kind of hard to, to put the context around why it's cool, um, is it actually can allow DocBook to serve as the intermediary format when converting into other things. And that is Pandoc's absolute greatest claim to fame. Pandoc from JGM has been around forever and it takes documents of one format and converts them into another. And when I saw Pandoc in the container for ASCII doctor, I was like, what the hell is Pandoc doing here? This is scaring me. Is there a dependency? And then when I found out that the only reason this is even here is so this particular project can maintain a single readme in ASCII doc and then generate a markdown file out of that single file. So they're not maintaining two files separately, but the real thing that really just made blow my mind is seeing the intermediate use of DocBook as the method to convert over. So see then over here, you can see that they're calling into their Pandoc and they're using the Markdown headings as, you know, some of the settings for Markdown because they want to, you know, preserve Markdown in a particular format. They're also forcing it into GitHub Flavor Markdown, which is one of like 10 different, you know, supported formats for, for Markdown. And then they say, use DocBook as the format. This dash F says, tell Pandoc that the incoming format, the pipe of data right here is coming in in XML doc book format. And then the output gets written to a readme.md. Why is this so cool? Because if you use Pandoc for anything else than I have for many, many years, um, you know that in order to get from one format to another, if you get any hiccups along the way, the traditional way to do that is to take Pandoc and convert it into raw or Pandoc raw, which is an abstract syntax tree that's absolutely ugly. And I could show you here, but we'll skip that. And what that does is it takes it into this, you know, abstract syntax tree that Pandoc supports that does not support doc book because why? Because it's, it has to support everything, right? So, so, so the pa Pandoc abstract syntax tree is a really, 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 really simplified intermediate step, but it's guaranteed to be able to work between all document formats that Pandoc can support for the most part. But why does that suck? It sucks because when you do that, you lose resolution, so to speak, um, between your documents, right? So you have the one document and it starts out in some, it has some amazing things. And then you go to the abstract syntax tree and then you go out to the other format and you lose sometimes actually directly. Um, if you're going to translate to that intermediate layer, you're going to lose resolution, which means you might lose the ability to do tables in one particular way or something like that. It's not unlike transferring an image that had lots of data in it into a lower one and then you're throwing it away and then trying to inflate that or to use that intermediate file or something else. You've already lost the resolution in the thing. So by having DocBook be the intermediary um, format for this conversion, you don't lose anything. You don't lose anything, which means that anything that's supported by DocBook, which is really anything anybody would ever really care about, in my opinion. In my opinion, 
DocBook is the only format anybody making documentation should ever care about. But obviously nobody wants to write in DocBook because it's complicated and crazy. So you write an ASCII doc and then maybe you only use the stuff that's also available in Markdown. Maybe you don't. Maybe you use more. But by using um, DocBook as the intermediate step, you, you're ensured, I mean, Markdown is definitely going to discard some of the things that cannot be done. Um, but in a way that hopefully is 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 nice in its in its translation, as long as you ensure that your ASCII doc is not using things that are not compatible or don't have equivalents and in, in, in GitHub flavor markdown. But the this video is about how cool it is, um, the approach of using the doc book in the middle um, to truly allow that kind of conversion. So if you are in the documentation world and you are thinking about doing publishing or maybe you're thinking about creating a website where you can use the the markdown that's used for the website also in a book uh, reliably and with all of the same additional um, you know things that you would want in a book um, again there's another plug for ASCII doc because of this because of this doc book uh, compatibility which can be used as an intermediate format form, uh, format when you're converting to other things and that's really the takeaway